hello in this video i'm going to show you how we can transfer uh, uh, money between uh, banks like internal transfer but the banks uh, consist uh, uh, consist of different uh, uh, currencies like one is in ksh and one is in usd so here uh, i'm on my first bank you can see the currency is on ksh so first of all i have to create an internal transfer from uh, my current bank to uh, to the next bank means usd bank so here uh, i am giving an amount like a 1255 and uh, here i can mention transfer amount of 1255 i can put any memo here then here i have to choose the other bank so i have choose that uh, uh, usd i just uh, saving the data i'm just uh, saving the data and uh, confirming the record so once I click on confirm, automatically the system will create the channel entries in the system and it will transfer the money from this bank to USD bank. Now, if I'm going back to the accounting dashboard and checking the um, uh, outstanding payments of receipts, you can see there is a outstanding amount. Also in the same bank USD, you can see there is a $10 of outstanding payment or receipt. To uh, uh, remove this, actually, I need to uh, reflect the total amount in my uh, uh, GL. So what I have to do is I have to create one new bank statement here. So click on create button and here you can mention amount uh, uh, transfer so that you can mention here and uh, add a line. You can put a label here amount transfer on two double five amount of currency and the foreign currency you don't have to mention mm -hmm. since it's a output like uh, you send that amount from this uh, uh, journal you have to mention it in minus one two double five you can see there is an updated balance of uh, four double nine zero that's the updated amount like inting balance so update the same here as well four double nine zero save the record and post it so once you click on post automatically it will show one reconcile option click on reconcile you can see that record is you can you can see it in a blue line so it's a reconciliation records so select the same and click on validate so once you click on validate you can close the statement so the amount will be uh, moving from your outstanding uh, account to that actual GL so that you can see here we are again we are going back to the account and dashboard and you can see that amount has been reflected in your GL now we are going to the second uh, bank or USD bank and uh, here you can see it's a $10 uh, it's in the uh, outstanding payments or receipts click on create button and uh, here you can put on a reference amount received add a line here uh, here also you can mention what are the uh, label you required and uh, in this area you have to mention it's a one two double five because you receive that money in a another currency you can choose that currency as well so here it should be KES here you can mention ten dollar because you receive that money to your account also your ending balance needs to be updated it's a three nine point seven six now save the data and click on click on post so once you click on post you can see a reconcile button click on the same you can see this is the uh, uh, reconciliation uh, record so select the same actually these records are uh, being created whenever you are doing the internal transfers so click on validate button and uh, close the statement now we are going back to the accounting dashboard and checking how the amounts are reflected in the um, updated currency means in, in, in an, another uh, other currency here you can see previously it was uh, 29 now it's updated as 39 39.76 so this is how we are managing uh, uh, multi-currency transfer between the uh, accounts or uh, journals